I am Endlessness and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and in this video I wanted to share my thoughts with you on the new As You Awaken banner. Here we have four pages with the outfit at the end of each page and while the first page doesn't offer any extra stamps with additional rewards, next pages have two additional 5 star guaranteed slots and it's nice but there is no wishlist guarantee or even increased chance so you can but as well may not get the weapons you have put in your wishlist at all and they have also increased the amount of gil you can get normally it's 20 or 30 thousand but here it is 200 and 300 thousand on those stamps i think it's bait because now we also have the summer event shop where you can exchange 100 red or blue medals for 1000 gil and there's no limit on that. And also it costs 3000 crystals to pull, no discounts. It's the first time where we haven't gotten a new banner with new gear but a rerun of last year's summer outfits. In all my reviews I would always say I think the banners I was reviewing were good banners and worth pulling if you wanted to get the gear for those characters, but this is the first banner I think is a bait banner and I would not advise to pull on it. My arguments are it's old launch gear and I think current outfits are mostly bare, or rather that's while those old outfits are good I think they could have made this banner better because it costs 3000 crystals to pawn but you get no new banner gear and the weapons like we always do. Sure we had wishlist banners that offered no new gear but wishlist weapons were guaranteed to drop. This isn't the case here because the wishlisted weapons have only 0.8 chance to drop it's not even 1% and also we have this year's Yuffie and Lucia banner which seems to be a much better choice to pull on and it's only the first banner. We should get the second summer banner soon with Tifa and other characters. I'll also add that it has been data mined that Barrett will get a banner so it is very possible that Tifa and Barrett would be featured in that second summer banner we should get very soon. But wait, there's more because Vincent is coming in less than two weeks and you'll also get a banner as well. It all depends on your account, what characters you're using most and what outfits you have for them. Tifa can be a good healer and this outfit will help to boost her heals, but Tifa has gotten so many outstanding DPS weapons that she's mostly used as a DPS unit. Aerith is mostly used as a healer and she also has some great healer outfits. Here she also can be a great magic DPS but we also have multiple Arcanum or even Mastery outfits which are in my opinion much better outfits than this one. Nanaki has also gotten the least amount of outfits but Nanaki excels as a support and his canyon outfit with both debuff extension is so much better for any occasion than this one. And lastly we have Cloud with Water Mastery, so 20% Water Damage, but we just had Monster Hunter crossover with Glavinous Outfits with that 10 P attack and 15% Physical Ability Mastery separate from the R ability. So sure, Water Mastery Outfit is very nice, but Glavinous is also a very good alternative. Personally, I do not have Cloud's Maritime outfit myself because I skipped those summer banners last year, but I will not be pulling because sure it's a good outfit, but I don't see it being worth around 3000 crystals. I would much rather save them for the next banner in the future. So I hope you didn't misunderstand me. Those are good outfits, but the ones we have been getting ever since are in my opinion much better and these ones returning don't seem to be outfits you desperately need and I don't think they are worth 30,000 crystals you would need to spend on just one of them. Especially not when we have some very good banners releasing all the time and those outfits usually are much better. Crystals are a very valuable resource and a very limited one so we have to make choices which banners we want to pull on. And I'm also talking just about the stats and our abilities though. If you want to pull on them because you like the way they look, then by all means go ahead and 
both very cute beach outfits for your wife or husband and that's perfectly understandable but if they make this outfit different for example it would cost only 1500 crystals to pull and a wishlist guarantee I think this banner would be much better to pull on but it is what it is or for example each page would have two outfits one on stamp 6 and then stamp 12 I just think they could or maybe should have done this banner better than it is but if you're going to pull good luck and you're welcome to share how it went but yeah that's that's all so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next one